Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Good morning and a happy Saturday, everyone. Take a look at the bright colors that we have popping up across our area. If you enjoyed the nice, warm, temperatures that we saw for the past couple of days, a little fool's spring. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. We are back to some more uh, February light conditions for the day today. If you like the cooler temperatures, then congratulations. I get to be your favorite person and tell you that we are right now in the 20s and we will be staying on the cool side all day today. One thing we can all agree on, it's going to be bright and beautiful with a lot of sunshine out there. And I think everybody enjoys those clear skies when we have those nice afternoons this time of year. We're taking a live look at, uh, outside right now towards Narragansett. You can see that nice little band of orange sitting right over the water right now. Directly overhead clear. There's a couple of spotty clouds sort of out in the distance, but we are looking forward to clear skies pretty much all day long. We are running into a few icy spots this morning, so if you're heading out the door anytime soon, do keep your eye out for that. Anything that looks wet on the road surfaces is most likely ice. We did see what was left over from yesterday's moisture freeze overnight last night. Other than that, though, we're looking forward to a dry weekend. We're not going to add any extra ice out there, not any uh, rain in the forecast either. And as we look forward to President's Day on Monday, we are going to see a little bit of some warmer temperatures, but also a chance for some showers. But today and tomorrow we are dry. Wind direction overnight last night that has turned to the northwest, so a lot of cold air is just dropping across our area. That's the reason for the cooler conditions. You can see the front from yesterday, that cold front sitting well off to the east. That change in the wind barbs, you can see it pretty clearly right now. It's also dragging some of that cloud coverage with it. And behind it, we're tracking two different high pressure systems, one way off to the west and south and one a little bit further up to the north. Either way, both of them are going to help to keep us nice and clear and lead to a beautiful and sunny day ahead. Here's a look at our current conditions. So we are down into the 20s. As far as what we're used to by February, that is right where we're supposed to be. 20 degrees for Coventry, 22 for Richmond, Providence 23, same for Narragansett and Newport, up towards Glendale, you're clocking in at 22. However, this is a big change compared to yesterday. 24 hours ago, we were anywhere from about 23 to 27 degrees warmer. So about a 20 to 30 degree change in those temperatures just between this time uh, yesterday morning and where we are right now. We're going to stay clear for the rest of the first half of your day. Those temperatures slowly start to climb during that eight o'clock hour. We'll be back up mid to upper 20s and then we're just kind of slowly stair stepping our way through the 30s. Daytime highs, they'll be lucky to get into the upper 30s and low 40s. I think Providence going to top out right around 40, 41 degrees, so definitely much more February like, but we have that sunshine, so overall it will be pretty comfortable. There will be a couple of stronger wind gusts upwards of 20 miles an hour. That'll make things feel slightly cooler, but overall not too much of an active day. Going to be pretty quiet for the rest of your afternoon. Setting things into motion, like I said, a few spots will be staying in the upper 30s. That's going to be down along the water. And then as you head further inland, that's where we'll run into some of those 40 degree temperatures. Overnight tonight, we stay mostly clear through to about maybe 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. Then we'll start to see a few clouds just sort of slowly drift in overhead. So you're waking up to a little bit of a mix of clouds and sun. Temperatures in the 30s for tomorrow morning, so slightly warmer to start off your Sunday. And then as you head through the afternoon, those clouds will really start to build and thicken. Good news is we will stay dry for your Sunday. The shower chances really stay at bay for the second half of your weekend. Where things start to change, that's where we look forward to Monday. Now there will be some showers off the coast tomorrow, but they should be steering clear of our area. It's really Monday where we start to see some moisture kind of sweep across our region by about Monday evening. You're going to start to feel the impact of that rain, but overall for most of your actual Monday, you are dry, cloudy, but dry. Your seven day forecast will see a lot more sunshine on the way by Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. We're going to see another chance for some showers. It's just sort of an unsettled pattern that we're going to be dealing with where we have a little bit of extra moisture where we're going to see some spotty showers, uh, particularly Wednesday into Thursday, but there's a small chance Tuesday night as well. Friday looks a little drier, windy and cooler, but check out those temperatures really kind of staying in the 40s for the most part, with the exception being on Monday as slightly warmer. But either way, small chill in the air, no 60 degree temperatures. I know we've seen that for the past couple of weeks, but we are finally going to be a little bit cooler this week. You can head over to our website. That's WPRI.com. We've got the full seven day forecast. You can check it out anytime you want. You know, there are a lot of kids who are going to watch that forecast. I'm very disappointed because there's no snow for school vacation week now.